So today we are checking out two amazing new mods here in BeamNG Drive. We have an awesome V8 motor for the Stambeko, and we're going to be checking out a massive crane. And folks, we make a slingshot with it. So stay tuned until the end, hit that thumbs up button, and let's jump in. So folks, have you ever looked at the Stambeko and went, man, that's a really fun vehicle, but it doesn't quite have that V8 awesome power, the wind blowing through your glorious hair. Well, folks, I have a mod that is going to change that here today. So we all know this thing has a slow V6 in it, but there is a mod that has changed that. So we're going to play with the engine swap first, and then I want to show you guys a glorious version that takes the top off on this thing. And it's uh, pretty awesome. So, anyways, we're going to go down to engine. And look, we have the glorious V8 motors here. So, we're going to put a 3.9 liter V8 in. Uh, this thing normally has the inline 6 motor. But it just doesn't have enough power to me. Like, I don't really care for this vehicle that much. It's a cool vehicle, but I really just wish it was faster. So, we're going to go ahead and upgrade that. And we're going to put some race parts on this real quick. And we're going to test this thing out. So here we go. Oh, ho, ho. dude, that sounds so good. Oh, that is glorious. The Stambeko actually has acceleration. <laughs> uh, so you can see some of the engine like uh, floating around there in the back. I think there's an engine cover. The uh, engine sets here kind of under the driver. Uh, so I guess it kind of goes through it a little bit. I'm sure you could take that off. But oh my goodness, the cops are already mad at us. So yeah, we definitely have the speed for the streets down. We still keep that off-roading uh, capabilities that this thing is really good for. Uh, hold on, I also want to bully the cop. Oh, geez, they turned into us. Okay, that was pretty aggressive there, buddy, don't you think? But guess what? This thing is basically a tank. So we're just going to take right back off. Yeah, it only makes sense that there's a V8 for this thing because... Like, I always think about, like, there's a fire truck version of it, and it's not fast. Like, you're supposed to get to the scene really quick in a fire truck, so uh, now you can do it with this awesome mod. Also, I need to run into some more stuff. You know what? Let's do an escape here. I need to get up to the visitor center. Let's go ahead and weave in and out of traffic here. This is uh, totally fine. Oh, watch out. I got to make this turn. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make this. Hold on. Hold on. Slide it. Perfect. Yeah! <laughs> yes! <laughs> that was glorious. Uh, okay, not gonna lie, that was probably one of the sickest slides I've ever done, and it was in a Stambeko, so that makes zero sense. Chat losers, can we do it again? Uh, hold on, tap the e-brake. Uh, oh, not quite. Dude, this thing actually, it handles almost better with the V8. It's a lot funner to drive. Like, it slides, but it's definitely controllable. Uh, oh my goodness. Okay, this might have made this into, like, one of my favorite vehicles now. Uh, Hans, let's go ahead and slide. Okay, that was not a good slidey boy corner. Uh, something's loose. As you can see, the, uh, the engine's shaking a bit now. Um, we might have broke, like, a motor mount. It's fine. I don't like the cops can even figure out how to stop us right now. He just... Wait... Did he just pull off for us? He looked in the rear view and said, nope, I'm out of here. <laughs> okay. Uh, you guys might want to get out the, uh, maybe the heavy machinery. I'm sure there's like another van you could throw at me or, oh my goodness, a rover. What was that? Okay. Um, yep. Oh, and we're going off. It's a tank. I can tumble down the mountain. I should be able to get going again. Uh, I've got it locked. If I could flip it back over, we could totally drive off here. Yep, hold on. Nope, nope, nope. Come on. Nope, okay. Oh, there it goes. No, <laughs> come on, baby. I gotta get going. There we go. Yes. <laughs> it still runs. I don't think we're getting back up to the, uh, the visitor center, but, I mean, we just tumbled down a mountain and we, uh, we drove off. Uh, granted, we're missing a tire in the back. Doesn't matter, though, when you have an off-roading beast like this. Okay, we are definitely turning this thing into like a crushed can. All right, well, uh, that's the, uh, the V8 swap. So real quick, there is a preset on this for a fire truck, which is really cool too. So if we go down here, uh, so yeah, if you go to the prototype, this one's already got a V8 motor in it. So you don't have to do the swap. I don't know if it's quite like fully race upgraded. Oh, it feels pretty good. Uh, question is, is all the stuff that's weighing it down on the top, is it going to handle any different? Oh, dude, this feels good. I'm going to do another little slide here. Uh, let's see what we can get. Uh, let's get it. Let's go. We. Okay. Oh, oh back rotated around. Uh, it kind of stopped, though, there. That's not too bad. 
Hello, cops. Uh, hold on. I can sound my siren too. There we go. <laughs> oh boy. I'm having, I'm probably having actually too much fun. All right, we're gonna do one last running over of cops and we're gonna check out the topless version. All right, who wants to get demolished? Let's go into oncoming traffic here. Oh, buddy, is that a cop? Cop, civilian, civilian cop. Nope, not a cop. Oh, and I wanna try to hit a cop. Actually, I might not have a choice. We're about to get on a uh, tight road here. Uh, oh, I see light. No, don't turn in front of me. What are you doing? Oh, <laughs> oh wait, what the heck? Okay. Well, we'll take that. Um, so, there's one more version of this. Uh, it is called, I believe it's called like the Beach Goer, or actually the 505 Beach Runner. So when you spawn this one in, which by the way, this looks like the most unsafe vehicle I've ever seen. So if you're on the beach and stuff, you're gonna be going over dunes and things. Um, how come there's no cage here? Like you flip over, that's your head. It explodes. Okay, well, it's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and put this up here. Uh, it does have the inline six uh, by default in, but you know, if you want that V8 power, you can stick it in this one too. Um, guys, can we move on? Let's give you a little little nudge here. There we go. Okay, it's fine. You just got to clear out the crash yourself. Oh man, that V8's nice. There is a river down there. We could go, uh, maybe go down. Hold on, let's go off roading here. We. Oh, this isn't safe. Okay, that actually worked. Why does this handle so good now? Like, I think the Stambeko is held back sometimes by that inline six. Like, it doesn't get the actual, like, performance, the sliding, uh, the fun off-roading with it. Okay, here we go. We got a river. Let's go ahead and go yeet. And then, uh, it's not too deep here. I think it gets a little worse. Yep. Okay, right now, technically, I think it should be flooding because it's definitely over it. But we have our little bitty uh, snorkel haunt and it gets deeper. Here we go. It's like a little river tour. Now, I think we just need like pontoons or something for this and it would be perfect. That definitely should be a thing. So folks, that's not the only mod we're checking out. You probably clicked in this video because you saw a massive crane. So if I scroll down here, we have the VM 1200 heavy lift crane. And folks, there is one that has an insane engine and I'm tempted to run down the crash hard mountain with it. Uh, we're gonna load the one with the ballast platform. So it's gonna have a big counterweight uh, because there are attachments for this thing. This looks ridiculous. Now, I'm gonna admit, I played with this a little bit beforehand, and I was really confused, because you see this massive hook here? Uh, it kinda looks like a ship anchor. Uh, it actually has some props that look like they connect, like you'd actually have to hook the hook into them. But no, this works like a trailer. You actually have to hit L, and you'll be able to connect the props. But look at this crane! This thing's ridiculous. It's got a, a whole control set over here. Uh, you can lift the boom up and down. Uh, you can lift just the actual cables up and down. It's got a pretty nice little interior here. I like this. And uh, it doesn't turn very fast, but I haven't tried the one with the insane engine. Yeah, the, tr the turning's like really slow. I mean, it's not meant to be fast. It's not meant to go ripping around corners, even though we're gonna send it off a mountain and that's gonna be a thing. But it is extremely heavy and I think we can have some fun with this. So, you're probably asking, well, what, what are we going to do here to have fun? Well, if we scroll down, there are several things. There is a slingshot. I haven't worked that yet, where you actually hook it up, and I think it uses the tension on the cables to fling stuff in the air. But there are props down here, and folks, we have a claw. So if I spawn this in, this thing is freaking heavy. So, hold on, let's find a car real quick. If I drop this, uh, oh, you got so lucky there. Uh, yeah, this thing will crush this car. Come on, Komodo, stop missing. Oh, 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 we almost got the, uh, the police van directly. Hold on. We got this. We got... <laughs> I am having a lot of issues. Well, you get the point. It, it's able, uh, to crush stuff, and it'll crush it all the way into the ground. Like, this crane, uh, claw is extremely heavy, and this is embarrassing. Oh, there it goes. So, yeah, it just did a little bit of damage, and it barely clipped the front of that. So... As I was saying, I was really confused. I actually went into the editor the first time. Uh, I strongly suggest there is a, a YouTuber that's tied to this creation, uh, and they do have a video showing how it works, but of course Komodo didn't watch the video. So I got this hook down into here. So I actually did it in the editor and I moved the claw in position, but it does float through. So uh, you can really just do this by hitting L. So if we go to here, we'll hit L. And uh, see, boom, it's trying to connect us a little sideways. Probably would suggest getting it a little closer than that. Uh, I mean, it's technically on. 
So yeah, I should have control of the crane now, or the claw. So I hit Alt, and then you have the uh, open and close here. It's the comma and period. And yeah, we have a massive claw. So I think we should probably lift the cables a bit. Uh, so let's go ahead. I think we're going to hit Alt, and I believe it is comma. So here it goes. Uh, that counterweight's doing miracles, though. I think if we didn't have that counterweight in the back... Uh, I feel like we might tip even with the weights on the actual crane. So yeah, uh, we got that. We can move the crane. Uh, is it better to do it from this view? This actually is pretty good. Uh, I want to crush something. Uh, maybe a bus? I feel like that could be a thing. But yeah, you can uh, rotate the crane so it's alt and then we'll hold like G. Uh, so we're starting to move to the left here with the crane. Uh, it's going to take a little bit for the actual cables and all that catches up. Uh, I mean, there is a poor little car in front of us. Uh, and how far is this going to drift? Uh, not too bad. So let's go ahead and lower it. Uh, what do you think that person in that car is thinking? Oh, it's swinging right now. Uh, <laughs> I feel like if we had the, uh, the claw on a little bit better, this would be a little less hard. Okay, let's go down. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, we need to swing back. You think that person's panicking right now? They're like, oh my goodness. So we'll go comma. Come on, pick it up. It's like one of those little uh, frustrating like games where you pick up the animals. <gasps> oh, 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 we got it. We have it. All right, let's go ahead and start to lift it. Oh, 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 I need to go. Go the other way, please. It's going to take it a second. All right, here we go. I feel like this will work better with bigger vehicles. Now, by the way, the same creator uh, has a ship version of this where there's a crane on it. It's not as big. But you can use the two together. So you could say, like, uh, you want to haul some big stuff and move it over to the ship. You can use them. Uh, it's pretty cool, actually. So, yeah, uh, we just picked up a car. Uh, let's take the car somewhere. What do you think the person in that poor little car is thinking right now? They might actually be dead. Because uh, I think the claw kind of closed in the cockpit there. Okay, we need to stick an insane engine on this real quick. Uh, let's go ahead and go to powertrain and insane. Uh, does it sound different? Oh, it definitely sounds different. Uh, oh, no, it unhooked the uh, claw. Well, that's fine. Uh, let's see how fast this thing drives now. I mean, are we getting wheel spin in the back? Oh, it's not turning. Uh, this is fine. Here, I need you to turn to the... Okay, well, I guess we're going off-roading with this. I dropped the claw. There's uh, another couple things here. I think you can lift up. Oh, oh no, a cop got crushed by the, uh, the counterweight in the back. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it's falling apart. Yeah, you would probably want to play with this on a very open map. I mean, Utah is fairly open, but you need, like, flat ground here. Um, oh, wow. Uh, we definitely crushed it. And we, uh, yeah, we well, we picked up a car. Uh, I was kind of hoping to pick up a bus. Look at the damage we did to it. That is, uh, that's something, hon. Huh? Get a good look at that. Oh, yeah. That's the thing. All right, so, uh, what other attachments do we have for this? So, there's some weights. There's a wheel. There's a lifting frame. This thing's actually kind of cool. I, I saw him lift up, like, a boat with this. Uh, what else could you... Oh, how would you work this? I think you would lift it up first, and then let the chains dangle, and then you could pick up something bit... What the heck? Hey, that's mine. Why did you run into that? All right, let's drive over there, and let's see if we can hook that up. Come on, turning ability. <laughs> there it goes. Well, it definitely is a lot faster with the insane engine. It's not necessarily realistic, but... I mean, I'm having fun with it right now. So let's go ahead. We're going to lower this. This is like one of those creations where you do actually kind of want to use like the first person view here. That way you can really see the position. All right, we got the handbrake on. This whole thing's wobbling. It's, should we be concerned? Where'd the crane go? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, it folded back. Holy man. All right, I don't think we had that set right with the weight. Um... Yeah, there's a potential we want to go to a little bit of a bigger map. So I'm going to work the uh, the lift, and then we're going to take this on the Crash Hard Mountain with the Insane Engine and just see if we can get it to roll down. Okay, let's see if we can hook these two bad boys together here. Uh, I feel like they are attracted to each other. Oh, go down. Come on. Come on. I'm working it here. I don't know if we're doing this right. Okay, there it is. Oh, it's going to hook sideways. Come on, hook on perfect. Oh, it's so cool that you got, like, multiple attachments for this. All right, so let's go up. Here we go. So let's get those chains directly up. Okay, so we have this set up. Uh, let's get something big here. This might not be big enough. Let's go boom. We've got a uh, <laughs> we got a big bus under here. Hold on, let's try to make it go forward a little bit. How about right about there? Well, those connect now is the question. So if I hit L, Will they connect? I don't know if that's the way we're supposed to do it with this platform. We might have to manually connect those hooks. 
Because I'm pretty sure if I hit L on the other thing, we're just going to drop this down on it. Uh, let's see. Oh. Oh, does it... Okay. Oh, actually, we just hooked it up right now. Yeah, I, I definitely think you have to put those... Uh, or manipulate those hooks. Hey, but at least we got that on. It actually looks correct now. Nice. Oh, we did something right. Hold on. Let's pull out the other uh, platform real quick. So, yeah, here's the, uh, the slingshot. I have to look and see how this works. Those are already suspended in the air. Um, okay, this is a thing. Give me uh, two seconds here. So folks, I figured out how it works. So we need two cranes. We'll connect a uh, crane to each one of these ropes. We'll actually make the cranes go up the cables. It'll put tension on this platform. You set a vehicle on there, then you release the platform and the vehicle goes to space. Uh, I'm assuming this is a cheaper way to have like a space program. So that's fine. We're gonna reset that let that crush the bus um, All right, so let's move these into position. So we need two of these. So we'll move one over here um, That's okay. It's gonna fall apart. It's fine uh, This is pretty close. Let's get this one a little closer and then we're gonna spawn in one more and we're gonna hook it up, and we're gonna hope we don't destroy something here. Okay, we're putting crane one in position It's gonna take me a second to get over there Trying to do this very careful. Oh, they're starting to attract each other. Come on, baby. All right. Uh, one rope is connected. Um, yeah, it might need a, a little more assistance. It's fine. Okay. Oh, that just clanked together. Oh, my goodness. I don't know if we've done this right. I feel like we just... Okay, I think I grabbed both of them. Um, this is fine. I should be able to still stretch the rope, right? Uh, it might fling the platform straight up. Oh my goodness. Uh, there is tension going on that right now. Hold on, let's go to the other one real quick. I feel like we're gonna fling this directly up into the hooks. Okay, there is tension being put on that. That is kind of amazing. Okay, so we might've got some stuff crossed up here at the, the top and I feel like this is gonna collapse, but you guys get the idea of what's happening, right? So let me grab a vehicle quick. We need to stick something on there. Let's just stick like one of these. So we would just go around here. We're gonna pull this up on the platform. This is gonna be a colossal disaster. Uh, let's pull this right here. There we go. Parking brake engaged. So I think we would just release the, uh, I guess the platform here. So I feel like we are definitely tangled here. Uh, I'm gonna release the slingshot and see what happens. Uh, all right, so let's pause it. I'm gonna hit space. So it should be released. And here we go. Uh, oh, that didn't work. Did I break it already? Uh, space. Oh my goodness, it worked. <laughs> Hold on, let's go up here. Oh, oh, this is gonna be bad. And oh, it just flung the car right into the hooks. Well, if you have a bigger gap up here, that works. We officially have a vehicle slingshot. All right, let's take this thing to the crash hard mountain. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is gonna be a colossal disaster, uh, but I wanna see if this works. Okay, aim down. Oh, buddy. Okay, it's rolling a lot better than I thought it was going to. Uh, by the way, this uh, I watched another video on this thing. It is strong enough to pick up the blast. Uh, that, oh my goodness, okay. Uh, <laughs> That was, a, that was a failed attempt. It's fine. I'm just going to set it right back up. You're going to ignore that even happened. Okay, here we go once again. Oh, I need to turn a little to the right. Okay, a little more to the right. Come on, go to the right. It's, go, it's pulling left right now. Okay, there it goes. Oh my goodness. Why does this actually kind of work? Okay, here we go. Oh, the weight shifts. Oh, that's... Okay, that's terrible. Yeah, the weight shifts big time on this thing. So it'll, it'll be kind of unpredictable. Uh, I got one more solution, the Komodo Canyon. Okay, this is gonna totally work better. I got a little bit more area to work with. All right, let's see what kind of speed we can get. Oh, I, also there's a small jump in front of us because that's a good idea. All right, here we go over the first little jump here. Oh yeah, with these. Oh my goodness. It's really weird, this thing slides. Yeah, where that hook goes, the weight. Oh my, okay, you cannot run this down a hill. <laughs> <laughs> it's a disaster, but my goodness, this is a fun creation. <laughs>